What's up, YouTube? It's Hero Sticks, and I am back. And I am back with an unboxing from a brand that is new to me and a knife that is huge to me. I thought it was about 3.7 inches in blade length, but it's actually 4.33. Uh, so this is going to be the biggest knife that I've ever handled, and I'm excited to open it with you and talk about the brand and the blade and what I think and whether or not it's gonna be one that I add to my collection because it is bigger than I thought. A couple quick updates. First of all, uh, was fantastic response to the uh, last Civivi video with the Ortis and the Odium, and I have to tell you that the Odium has really risen to the occasion. I, I took it apart, I cleaned it, I oiled it a bit, and the, the sludgy action that was present before um, is gone. I mean, this thing is crisp and is quickly becoming um, one of my favorite kind of fifth pockets or, or uh, secondary carry knives. Um, it's so comfortable. The jimping is great and I love the action. So fantastic. Further thumbs up for the Odium. And then just because I scored another penguin. This is the QSP Penguin again, front runner for knife of the year. Um, they just came out with a bunch of new variants. There's a brass one, and this is the um, red uh, linen micarta. So it's a little rougher than the blue denim that I have, but everything you already love about the QSP Penguin in just a cooler color. Um, so really dig this. Just a fun little pickup. I think it was 28 bucks. If you don't have a QSP Penguin and you think about buying a pocket knife, get this one. Okay, here we go with the big unboxing. This is from a company called Max Ace Knives. And Max Ace Knives is a knife that, or a brand that I know little about. Um, there's MC Studio. Um, here's their logo, Max Ace Caves Company. I, I don't know where they originate, so it could be a foreign word for knife, it could be an awful typo, I'm not sure. Anyway, huge box, huge, huge knife. I did learn um, that Max Ace is um, a division of the Stediman Knife Company, which is another new name to me, but has some repute. Um, the other Max Ace knives um, that I've seen around is the, the Balance. It's a 3.5 inch SVN uh, flipper that looks pretty good. Um, but it was, it was the look of this one um, that prompted me to get it. Stedemon, if you, if you are interested, um, they've got the DSG, the CO6, the ZXC. Um, nothing really speaks to me about the Stedemon knives, but I'm just looking at the ones that happen to be on Knife Center right now. Um, so this is the Max Ace Kiev's company or the MC Studio Goliath 2. The Goliath 1, I saw a number of reviews on that I didn't watch because I don't want them to inform my opinion. And then this Goliath 2 just sort of popped up. And the reason that I purchased this knife is because of the aesthetic. It just looked beautiful. And as I said, I pulled the trigger very quickly and did learn that it's a much larger knife than I'm probably going to hang on to. But anyway, let's, let's do it. Um, so here's a very nice pouch, very sturdy, very large, tough zipper. I like that. This thing's beefy, I can tell already. Um, the Max Ace Goliath 2. Um, oh, there's actually multiple pockets in the pouch. That's, that's kind of neat. I'm going to hide it from you a little bit. Um, a little cloth there. Um, so this is in white, G10, blue stone washed. Um, it is Bowler K110 steel, which again, I knew nothing about. Did a little looking, it's not the toughest steel out there. Um, it's rated highly for its stability, uh, but relatively low on its toughness. Um, and let's, let's take a look. Wow, that's really big. Comes in a, like a vacuum sealed package, but that white G10 and that blue looks really good. So we're gonna cut into this with, we're going back to the Odium. And let's get this thing in hand. Wow, it's heavy, gang. Wow, it's heavy. DTOM Knives and Gear. This one might have your name on it for, for a review. Um, 
So let's take a little look here. This is the Goliath II in white G10 and blue stone wash. And wow, that is a very large knife, very pretty. Um, they're right out of the chute. I don't know if you can see that, but around there, that copper seems to have bled out a, a, a little. So I'm gonna give that just a little fuss. Um, overall, um, man, that's just a, that, that's huge. <laughs> you wanna do, let's do a size comparison really quick with the Odium just for jokes. Oh my God. I mean, that's like a pocket sword. I could have done better with the size comparisons. Um, I brought some other knives out. I didn't think about it because I was just super excited. So just to be a smart ass. <laughs> I mean, that's crazy. Okay, so let's talk about it. Um, again, the, the aesthetic, I, I really dig. Um, it is enormous. Um, the, the G10 here is textured really nicely. Um, the stone washed, I think it's titanium. Hang on, let me... Let me check it out here. Uh, don't want to lead you wrong. So the handle, white G10 and blue stone washed handle. Um, so that's probably aluminum actually. Um, and then that massive blade. Um, so this is going to be a heavy drop, but we'll see. Oh wow, that's, that's very good action again. The weight of the blade, if you're a new knife person, the weight of the blade is going to inform um, the drop shut action. Um, it's indicative of real smoothness, which this has, but there is a lot of weight. The, the flip on that um, is, is solid. I think it's running on, it looks like it's running on ball bearings, I think, and I can look a little deeper. And there's a cool logo. I like that styling there. You see that? That's the Max A Studio logo. Um, the flipper tab, ergon ergonomics, um, the flipper tab looks large, but I got to tell you, it's not, I mean, the rest of the knife's so flipping huge. Um, it's not obtrusive. It's not obstructive. Um, it, it works. Um, and even though it's huge and I wear medium sized gloves, you know, um, you know, you got some knife coming out that end, um, but that's actually very comfortable. Um, very comfortable. Um, the jimping on there um, looks more aggressive than it is. It's actually quite smooth. I might have used a little, preferred a little more bite there. Um, the finger choil is great. That that's that's comfortable in hand again, especially for such a pocket sword. Um, overall length on this thing is almost ten inches. I mean it's nine point eight four, so it's big. Um, again, I have I have to say I really love the both the color contrast and the texture contrast on the handle, which again is what originally drew me to um, this piece. Um, so we've talked about the ergonomics a little bit. We've talked about the action a little bit, which I mean that is pretty drop shut. Um, and the action sounds sounds and looks good. It's a little lazy. But again, with a blade that size, you expect nothing else, really. Um, pocket clip. Um, nope, there goes my light. Not too tight. Um, nice shape. Um, relatively deep carry. I mean, it's going to peek out and say hello to you, but nothing crazy. Um, and again, for the weight on this thing, guys, um, is 8.1 ounces. Um, but but it doesn't feel doggedly heavy. I mean, it doesn't feel awful. I I I put it in my pocket. Um, stylings on the blade, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You just got Goliath, and again, the Bowler K1110. Um, the fit and finish here is is solid. Um, the Liners are skeletonized pretty significantly, and that's going to drop some of the weight. Um, but the fit and finish is very, very nice. Very, very nice. Um, the grind, um, pretty thick behind the edge. I, I mean, I don't, I don't think there's probably any real surprise there. But take another look, guys. That's the Goliath too. I'm not sure. I might, I might have to sit on this one a, a, a little bit more. It really is beautiful. 
um, and I'd, I'd give it a thumbs up. I think it might be too big for me to, to put in the collection, but I'm gonna I'm gonna recommend this. Uh, the other knives of this size that I have um, carried, I mean that action's really nice. That's that's not just the weight. I mean that's that's super. Got it caught in the detent ball. Super smooth. Um, are the Summit knives and Fox Knife Company. That's actually the first review I ever did. The El Capitan. Love that knife. It's big, burlier, outside, um, hard use. Uh, and then the Concept Knives Helks, which I also enjoyed, was a little bit smaller than this. Um, of the three, I think this is the nicest to look at. Um, and again, it's very large. Hey, check this knife out. And if you're a reviewer and, and you'd like to get your hands on this one, um, shoot me a note. I'll see if I can get it out to you in time. Uh, and I'll let you know what I decide on keeping this. The Goliath 2. I'm going to give Max Ace brand the thumbs up. Uh, I'm going to give uh, the knife a thumbs up. And whether or not we keep it uh, remains to be seen. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Give the video a like or a dislike if you thought it was lame. I really do thrive on the feedback. And I'm looking forward to bringing you guys more content. Um, that's all we have tonight. I, I've actually... Um, I've got a number of unboxings to do, so I'm going to try to upload a little more frequently and see if that hits right with folks, uh, but I've got some fun stuff in the pipeline. Hey, thankful to be part of this great community. Uh, again, throw me a comment down below. This is the Goliath 2. It is a big, beautiful bomber. See you on the next one, y'all.